Hi Bassy. Hi Shiny. I'm just getting all my rubbish together. Quick true I am good. I am looking forward to my vacation time. I've got a short day in work tomorrow and then I'm off until like Wednesday next week. <laughs> right, let's get going. I can remember what I was up to now. I was pretty sure I'd arrived, just arrived in one of New Cities last stream. Um, we had, because I ran straight to the Pokemon Center. So, is it this way in? Yeah, it is. What's this? Why can I see fuck all? Yeah. Um. Are you gonna work? Or is there some sort of It is fog. Cool. Right. That's why I couldn't see anything. Right, let's go and explore Celastic Town because I've not had a look around here yet. Local history. How are you doing today, Trevor? Are you still at work or are you at home now? And how are you today, Shiny? Ah, oh, so when you're Mount Coronet. 
Close by this guy in this region. Nice. Yeah, I've been trying to get some time off for ages. Like, I was trying to get a full week, but I didn't manage to get it. But it's my dad's birthday tomorrow, so we're going out for a bit of a meal. And it means I can have a couple of drinks and stuff while we're out, seeing as I'm off on Thursday. Ooh, so there's a legendary Neo home to happen. Ooh. What game is it? So I've been slowly getting back into other stuff that I've not played for a while. Buying some items to the house right next to me. Ooh. MMORPG RPG Tycoon 2. I've heard of that. One of the streamers that I watch, like early mornings and stuff, has played it. It looks fun. Black glasses. Dark type moves. Nice. I'm here to buy what have you got? Pokeballs, great balls. Potions, we'll grab a few of those. Yeah, there's a a streamer I watch early morning. Um He's an English guy and he he used to be part of a World of Warcraft guild that I'd watch all the time. Um but they all just do streaming and stuff now. There's only a couple of them that still play Warcraft. And he's big into his... Uh, well, I mean, only buying one. He's big into his simulation games and stuff like that. And he's played, like, uh, PC Building Simulator. And he's played Power Washing and stuff like that. But he does, like, MMORPG Tycoon. And there's, like, a streamer's life simulator and shit like that that he's played. Some of them are really funny. But yeah, the MMO one looks good. I always try and carry around like at least 10 of each of these. Let's grab some more escape ropes, even though I almost never use them. Stop mashing, because I want more than one. Right. Eight. Yeah, I've been uh, catching up on other games I should have played ages ago recently. So like, I've been playing through the 2018 God of War. Hi Spike! How are you today, Spike? Yeah, playing through uh, the 2018 God of War. I thought I was most of the way through it. It was turns out I was like nowhere near through. Ooh, you've got special Pokeballs. Right, we'll bump these up to 10 each as well then. I say 10 each, I'm gonna buy a shit ton of quick balls. Uh different Pokeball, probably more effective at catching for more turns that are taken in the battle. Oh, are you making the Enderman one, or is it the one that you made near our house that almost killed you? So I made it back to my house from the end. Now it was safe and the Ender Dragon was dead, so I'm at home with all my stuff and a few supplies. So I need to go back there and get some Chorus Fruit. Or chorus fruit, however you say it. And a few other bits. And I'm going to start building my base in the end as well. Because I want a base on every plane. I'm not even sure if plane's the right word for it as well. Because <laughs> uh, I just lifted it from D&D. Because they work basically the same as planes do in D&D. So I'm going to build my end base. And then I'm going to build my nether base as well. Analog watch. Ooh. 
show me this watch. So I'll just tell my Pokemons, the radar thingy, analog clock. We want this back on. Yeah, my plan is for that Minecraft server. I'm gonna get my base sorted on every plane, and then threatening to blow the place up. I'm gonna kick his ass. Um, yeah, get my base sorted on every plane. And once that's done, I'm going to set up, like, dumb challenges and stuff for people to do. But you know the... Did you ever see the scavenger hunt that I did on Div server? So I'm going to make people do that at some point. I'll come up with a more difficult one to do. So I made a wall... Which was three by... Th yeah, that was true of server, wasn't it? So it was three by three wall with item frames on it. And I set up three by three walls either side. So you had nine items. The middle one was my example one. And I put rare stuff in each frame and sent people out to find them. So you had to get like uh, a sponge block and shit like that. Hi, Manu. But yeah, I'm tempted to uh, make another one of those. And I might recruit you to help me in making an obstacle course as well. Because I've made obstacle courses before, and they're great fun. Like a Takeshi's Castle kind of thing. He just wants to blow shit up. Yes, I'm going to mess with you. Yeah, yeah, I am aware I'm taking on everybody, but go for it. Here to fly. Kelly. Oh, yeah, I forgot we were leveling up Kelly. Um, ancient power because that move is cool. Oh yeah, that's great. Have like class and platforms. We've just got to have them easy to set up again for the next person to go along. But like I've done it before, where you've had like ice blocks in the air that you've got to jump between. So like you jump and slide and jump and slide. So you've got to like correct yourself when you land and things like that. Program keep current Pokemon. Uh, mud slap. Get it. Oh. Effective and accuracy fell. That's good. Oh, yeah, I forgot I had the shell belt on. Stop soccer punching your back. But yeah, I might recruit you to help me make some stuff, Spike, so we can cause some trouble. Uh. Kelly a portion. How dare you use my own move against me? Splat. There we go. Probably, there is probably a much better item I could give Kelly to hold right now, but 
I am too simple to do shit like that. I just look at the warren goes, make attack better or heal bits, and I make them use that. Ah, stop missing each other. You're, uh, we'll try something else. Just stop dodging everything. There. And you're knocking out your bastard. <sighs> Greg Thebuma raided the stream with 32 Greg. views. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Say hi, me. Oh, friend. Oh, Don't friend. Don't you follow friend. How is everybody? Hi, me 80 is now a following. You all, uh. <laughs> How far did you get, Greg? How many moons did you finish on? Give. Ah, uh, Manu's on it. Okay. So, what happened, basically, chat? Oh, no. What happened is that there's like literally like 25 redemptions. So, let's put on the music one. again and let's do the redemptions, alright? Yes. You guys already know this. This clip is amazing. <clears throat> we'll, uh, right. we'll just turn you down a bit. Let's see. <sighs> Alex, Mumble the Penguin. Monu, Mumble the Penguin. Brindon, seven, Trouble, just Mumble the Penguin. Bart, months. Mumble the Penguin. <laughs> Alex, Mumble the Penguin. Alex, Mumble the Penguin. Alex, Mumble the Penguin. There's more. There's more. Poor Greg, I would just Alex mumble the penguin. Alex mumble the penguin. Alex mumble the penguin. Alex mumble the penguin. Bart mumble the penguin. Alex mumble the penguin. And then anonymous <laughs> gifted to uh, Alex. Alex just resubscribed for 13 <laughs> months. Yeah, for anybody who's not seen that before, Greg has a, a redemption on his channel to a. Uh, show his little penguin plushie so we decided to queue up a fair few of them before he could get to do it and thank you for the sub Bryn uh, and you Alex as well it's been a crazy amount of time 13 months I cannot believe I've been streaming that long <gasps> old charm that's what I was supposed to give it to yeah, it, 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 that was wild. <laughs> Poor Greg having to go through the entire list of like dozens and dozens of those redemptions. <laughs> oh yeah, I do have the uh, the Pokemon game turned on if anybody wants to play it. I have it all set up and ready again. Right, let's go and get healed. Because we were leveling up Kelly. Rest. Mumble the penguin. Yeah, so I've just got rid of a guy who was threatening to blow up this town. And now I'm gonna work out what they're hiding here. Ancient Pokemon etchings. Right, let's go. I don't know what this is. It looks like a chicken coop or something. But like, you can't get up to it or anything. It's almost as big as the houses. Right, what's in here? Any Pokemons? Uh, there is just this. Examine the ancient cave painting. Mysterious designs cover a whole section of the wall. 
where three strange things forming a triangle in the middle of them is a shining sphere. It's all about. Cave painting reminds me of an old story. What do you want? Just being so powerful and considered a deity at the time. Opposing this were being with three Pokemon, get balanced with the one as they formed a triangle. Ancient legend of Sinnoh is bleh, 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 bleh. It's an ancient legend of Sinnoh that is still told to this day in Celestic Town. Yes, I found something useful. You should take these. Bonk to my granddaughter, but she's not using them. Who was this? Was this? Was this? Surf! Winner! Drags everything around it except for the user itself and attacks. Grant said something about what was it? You can surf from your poke edge across water, across seas and rivers. Hidden move in the field. However, you must obtain the Hearthstone badge. Right, I'm gonna get another gym badge so I can surf. Anything else in here? Any like hidden items or anything? No, nothing. I assume nothing. Right. Where the fuck are we going now? Yeah. Appears to have been in a significant struggle here. Everyone should step back and view things from a bigger perspective. Bigger perspective. There's one of your universal scare. Oh, it's this guy who wants to destroy everything. Seek the power to create a new world, a world without strife. Power seems to be unavailable here. Is it Mount Coronet? If you discovered any power from the Legends of Sinnoh, inform me. How about no? That power is what I need to create my new world. Creepy Doomsday Cult. The Doomsday, Doomsday Cult, cult if they want to destroy everything. Like, remake it all. I don't know. Uh, where are we going then? I need to go back here. I thought we can fly now, can't you? Yes. Winner! I do like that animation. It's swept away. Right. So we got a gym to fight here, somewhere. Where is it? Hello. Contest hall. Oh, right, it's the thingy city. The fashion city. So, we go this way. Around here. This is the church, isn't it? Yeah, the weird church. So, Pokemon Center is down there, and the gym. Are you back yet? Can we fight? Uh, how's it going, champ to be? Gym leader here is his uh, ghost Pokemon. Normal type moves have no effect. Go get him, challenger. I believe in you. Um, who's in the party? Eh, we'll be right. What is three plus five plus seven? The two, sixteen, or fifteen? Um, fifteen. Right hand door. Correct, congratulations. I wonder what happens if you go through the wrong door. Just out of curiosity. Oh, that's where the trainers are. Through the quiz so you get to battle me with me, right? Yep, that's exactly what happened. Spike, this is why we don't let you be in charge of the... Not 21. <laughs> Sent out Miss Drevis. Go on, Kelly. That's a legendary if I've ever seen one. Don't know what it is. It's legendary. Oopsie. Uh, what are we doing? Let's do water pulse. See how well it works. And hi, Burb. How are you today? Confused. Oh, no. 
Brendan. Right, um... Where is Beard? Beard is over there. Give me a second. <clears throat> See? Give me a second. Just sort out the beard. First Yashia Troll. Who's that Pokemon? There we go. Good time. <laughs> right, um... Yeah, this is what you get for show of the beard. Um, Mistreva Swarter Pulse did a bit. We'll use Water Pulse again. Yeah, you can thank Beth for this, Greg. She got me it. She's one of my Christmas presents off Beth. Lovely long flowing beard. I had to wash it after I got it as well because it was really itchy at first. It's nice and soft now. <laughs> Fine, brain. I just didn't have it to hand. It is very warm. It is great when it's cold. Get him, Kelly. Yeah, it's great. I put it on the other day when I went to uh, get stuff out of the garage. Oh no! Oof! Unlucky Kelly. Another swarm. <laughs> Bot free. Bot free was one of my favourites in the uh, original games. Why well, I, I when I played Pokemon Blue because Blue was the one that I had. Bot free was always part of my team, always. There you go. Start move. Yeah, my original Pokemon Blue team was always Blastoise, Butterfree. Um, I would usually have Moltres for the fire type. Hi, Brina. And then. The rest of the slots were usually just like random things. But I would always have Blastoise, Butterfree and Moltres. Hi Brina, how are you doing? Look Brina, we've got Kelly on our team. I want to do a Pokemon game with just burbs. That'd be cool, actually. Kelly, she is. I'll show you better. There's Kelly. She's a Shellos. Hi, Grey. So, I'm playing Pokemon. And I got given a beard for Christmas. So I added a redemption where I would wear the beard if people <laughs> redeemed it. And that is all the explanation you're getting. <laughs> so how are you doing, Grey? You having fun? My face is really warm now. I can feel it all on there. <laughs> Hi, Div. Everybody's showing up now. How are you doing, Div? 
I'm gonna, I'm gonna be getting my ass kicked in this gym. I've got a feeling. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> There's somebody else who might be good at that. <laughs> nice. There you go, Dave. You'll be good at this. Who's that? Just type what it is in chat. Get mod slapped. Stop missing everything. <laughs> right, I'm gonna have to swap out. Uh, let's get all the flashlight again, give it a dark move. What? Um. command at the moment. Yeah, not at the moment, Brina, unfortunately. Because I only tend to have it on when I'm doing like mess around streams and stuff. Uh, now we can switch. Time it was small like Sprina, you missed it. So I'm pretty sure we got Snorlax at one point last stream. Uh Haunter, let's keep current Pokemon, but we'll spend a turn reviving Kelly because No, Burb just knows his Pokemon. <laughs> True effective. There we go. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to seeing a bunch of these Pokemon and stuff. Like playing through this and playing through... Arceus when it comes out because I've only ever really played Pokemon Blue and Sword and Shield so I recognise ones that were in those and that's about it and a few from the series turn back those dead end yeah I know <sighs> Beth got it Yeah, Beth, have you got a... Uh, what's it called? You got the email from work about the vouchers that we're getting. I completely forgot about. Getting more vouchers. <sighs> Game Pass. Uh, yeah, I've got Xbox Game Pass. And PC version as well. Thank you, Manu. 
12 plus 28. That would be 40. So we'll go in the wrong door first. Yeah, two days, Village and Zarkius. I probably won't be playing that one on stream because it's going to be one of my chill out and mess around games. Like, unless I find like dumb challenges or something to do in it, which I might do on like an off day streaming. Uh, stockpile. <gasps> nice one, Spike. Get him, Kelly. I'll have to check that out later. <laughs> Brina, I was showing my mate Gemma pictures of the Tatel theme park the other day. She thinks it's amazing. So I have said that at some point I'm going to be going there. <laughs> Extra evolved one. It's a pretty decent theme park though, like I had a look at the zoo and everything for it. <gasps> Man who got it. Tell you what, I might move that down a bit just so it's not over the top of the Um where are you at? There you go, you can have a free one while I work out where I'm going to put it. Move you about there. There you go, you're not overlaying with chat anymore. Kelly to level 27. Mistrievous will keep current Pokemon. <sighs> I couldn't actually work out what that one is from the outline of it. <sighs> Kelly, oh, that's why I couldn't escape before, right? Water pulse and healing it is then. Critical hit, nice. Mm. Confused, no. I don't know, it's it's something to do with the translation if I remember right. Like, they did a weird thing with the translation of some Pokemon in Gen 1. Like, some of them just got given stupid names, like Jigglypuff. Jigglypuff is just like, Hodin or something like that in Japanese. Uh, kill him, kill him! No! Back to the one with the dark move. Go. And done. So 
middle door is the correct one, so left door it is. Means I know tons of things. Good. Yeah, Valplume is a a weird Pokemon. Like I've seen the plant that it's based off, and it's basically a picture plant or similar. Although I think um, the Victory Bell's an actual picture plant. But Vileplume is a similar one, and it stinks. Just smells like rotting meat. It's horrible. They used to have one in a... Like a greenhouse, where I went to uni. And bleh, I had to walk past it to get to the woods. You could smell it from outside, it was horrible. What are you looking at, Shall it, the spike? Oh, is that a picture of the flower? Yeah. Stinkiest flower in the world. Freezer, thunder and fires through Arctic and I didn't know that. Yeah, this is the actual... Uh, Where is it gone? Uh, Who's that Pokemon? Yeah, <laughs> you're right, Troy. Yeah, the actual part flower that it's based off. Called Stinky Flower. Oh, is it literally just called a carrion flower? Biggest ever specimen is what's probably called world's largest flowers. Ah, oh, Raphlesia Tuamude. Fleshy red flower with white blister like spots in its enormous petals. And they're massive 111 centimeters in diameter, or three and a half feet for the blue youth feet. Ghastly, keep going Pokemon. Let's throw a revive at Kelly. Oh no, curse. I always forget what curse does. Ah, it's this one. Cuts its own health to do damage. And then we use bite again because super effective. Uh, I've not even seen a macho or a match up, I don't think, Brina. Not yet anywhere. Apart from in uh battles, I don't think I've caught one. Let's check my box and see. Um, I can't check from here. Oh yeah, I can't check my uh, boxes in this area. Don't think I've got one though. Belt gives him strength, like four. Right, so middle door it is. Bim, bim, bim. Congrats, congratulations, right up in this left. I don't recognize that one at all. Three times thirteen, that would be thirty-nine. It's this door. See, we're winning these ones because fights. 
yeah, it's only got a small chance to be shiny as well. It's supposed to be like 3% or something. But it just seems to slap them up whenever. Hamper. Uh, that's this. Who's that Pokemon? Use water pulse. Critical hit. And now we heal a little bit. And hope not to die. This is the one Manu likes, isn't it? Is it like a penguin? Oh no, it's not. Looks like a little otter. Three shinies. Uh, that's me dead. Kelly, stop fainting. Yeah, Oshawott's cool. I quite like Oshawott. It looks like a little otter. I think it's supposed to be an otter. That reminds me, I've not even looked at what the starters are for Arceus yet. I should have a look at some point to decide which one I'm going to pick. We'll spend yet another revive on Kelly. I uh, think we might have to move her down. Well, we will swap you with the one that's got a dark move. So you can have party XP, but that's all you're getting. Yeah, I never understood that, where they become like quadrupeds and stuff later on. But I always preferred it when they like stayed similar to what they were. All points gone. Right, um, you can faint it, but bye. <laughs> yeah, it goes on for like half an hour, which is about now, because it was about quarter past when Bryn redeemed it. So I'm going to swap back. There we go. Yeah. Right, what were we doing? Another drift room, let's get it. This is basically a school kid. And we're just murdering all our Pokemon. Critical hit. Nice. Yeah, I should actually put in the description of the Redeem or something like it's for half an hour. 
I just keep forgetting to update it. Yeah, it could just be that it's bugged, Bob. But it's supposed to be only around around 3%. Either that or I goofed up when I set it up and set it way higher than I should have. So she's technically got infinite points. Ugh, trubbish. Ugh, is that shiny as well? That looked like it was shiny as well. But yeah. I do not like trubbish. I just don't like the design of it. What was the first room's answer? 15, wasn't it? Ta-da! Yeah, it was. Let's go this way. A true earth. No, I do not like Trubbish. I don't like the um, item-based Pokemon. Like, I prefer the ones that are based on animals and stuff. But the ones that are based on items like Voltorb or Trubbish or... What other ones are there that I can't think of off the top of my head? I generally just don't like them. I much prefer them when they're based on animals. Driftlim. Like Driftloom and Driftlim, like. I think they're supposed to loosely be based off, like, a cross between balloons and squids. Is Hot Edge the sword one? It's just like a floating sword. It sounds familiar. Yeah. <laughs> See, like, my favourite Pokemon are all the ones that are based on real animals. So I've got, like, Mudkit, which is based on an axolotl. Got, um... Who else? Mudkip is my favourite. You got like a Scraggy who's based on basically salamanders. Uh, <laughs> like your region. We'll do it soon, like each of the reasons regions is supposed to be like loosely based on real places. So we'll get round to having a Scandinavian region at some point. It's gonna happen. Like, Galar is basically, like, loosely based on the UK. So I can see them doing a Scandinavia reason, region at some point. Yeah, it's supposed to... I know the first few are supposed to be, like, um, the different islands that make up Japan. And... Yeah, it's like the different islands that make up Japan and just like differences in culture and stuff they have around there. But you have like um, 
but Galar is based off uh, loosely based off the UK like yeah Unova is loosely based around like American cities like New York and Chicago and stuff you've got uh, the island one that I forget the the name of that is um, basically supposed to be like Polynesian islands and Hawaii um nah don't bother with that yeah Alola Alola is basically the uh Polynesian islands like Hawaii places like that Kalos is France Time to go up against Fantina. Which one should she again? She was the right hand one, I forgot. More bear Pokemon. We should have a Canada re like Canadian region then. Challenge me, I shall win. That's what did you Gym leader does more. Let's get her. Right, what have we got? Drifflim. It is the weird balloon Pokemon again. And you will use Bite. Super effective. <laughs> Our Russian Pokemon region would be pretty cool, actually. No, not the poison. Right, uh, what's next? Gengar, we'll keep current out for Gengar. I do like Gengar. Gengar is supposed to be some sort of cat. I remember somebody at school basically saying it was like a a ghost of a fat meowth or something like that. Oh, bite is disabled. Uh, thunder shock. Never mind. Flashlight painted. Right, we'll get Kelly out for a little bit. She'll probably die horribly, but Chansey would make make sense actually, yeah. Confused again. At least you hit him. And now he's confused. I remember reading a couple of years back like a lot of uh, fan web comics on like the origins of certain Pokemon and there was a horrible one about Cubone and it was basically like Cubone's wearing the skull of its mother that means its mother has to die to become a Cubone so there was basically a... No, not a psychic Pokemon. There was basically a group of hunters who would go around manufacturing Cubones. Right, 
Same wheel. Hurt himself. Yeah, it says it in De De Detective Pikachu as well. It says like it's wearing the skull of its mother. So yeah, this comic basically just said, yeah, there's a group of hunters going around. And the reason you can find so many Cubones is they go around manufacturing them. They basically just kill off Pokemon. The kids come back and end up wearing their mother's skulls and becoming Cubones. But the same comics also had like the the single line from, I think it's Pokemon Blue and Red, where it said that people eat far-fetched. So it had like a, a guy going out with, uh, I think it was a Bulbasaur, and basically going dock hunting with a bullet seed, like sc scaring them out of the grass, and they'd fly upwards and get shot out of the air like an actual duck hunt. Right, get him, Char. You are our lead Pokemon. You're gonna be the big boy. Let's go! <laughs> oh, the, um... I can't remember what the name of they're called now. Yeah, it's the ones with the ears that are like speakers, isn't it? That'd be cool. Hey, we beat the gym leader. Yeah, they're cool. Them's ones. Load, read, and explode. How is Admiral? I shall honor it with this gym badge. Yeah, we're more than halfway through the gyms. Relic badge. And this lets me use Surf. Sweet. You got stickers. Two sixty five in your bags. Pocket. Shadow Claw. Ooh. How do you shine the badges? I know it's possible to do it, but like. Shine badges, please. Ah, it's only in the handheld mode. Alright, I can't do it then. <laughs> it's in the dock at the moment. I will shine them later. When I'm in bed playing some, like, Monster Hunter Rise or something. I got Monster Hunter Rise like two days ago, and I am already loving it. I thought it was really funny as well, because there's a... Uh, a guy I watch often who speedruns Bloodborne. And he's great at Souls games. And his chat has been telling him ages to try Monster Hunter and say, no, no, it's Monster Hunter is basically, it's just you fight Souls bosses and you turn them into, uh, like you turn them into weapons and gear and then fight more bosses. And he's like, all right, all right, all right, I'll give it a go. And he couldn't do the first monster, like one of the most simple ones in the game. And he got absolutely wrecked and rage quit it. Rage quit the beginning tutorial monster. R6. It's R6. My brain is... Flatlining. Bye. Did they uh, make a universe and all that in that weird way they dressed who thought they were harmless? Oh, Rainbow Six. I should have guessed that. I've only played Rainbow Six a couple of times, but... It does look fun. It's one of those games where you have to have... By the way, I see you have to have a team with you. Like, that you play with, to communicate with. Like, I've got a friend from uni who plays it. She's pretty good at it. And she just plays with the team regularly and they have, they have loads of fun with it. Right, to the Pokemon Center. Let's get these two revived. Which way was the Pokemon Center? 
that we will buy some stuff as well. Yeah, it's a proper Ultra Balls. Oh, we'll get a couple of Ultra Balls just because. Then, don't have any net balls. Why? No, I don't want that many. Ten. Ten of everything. Yeah, Rainbow Six is a proper tactical shooter, but it's one of those ones that if you get good at it, it can be a lot of fun in multiplayer. I've seen the, um, I've not actually seen the single player missions in it. But the only similar thing to that that I played with single player missions was SWAT. And SWAT was great fun. And hyper potions we can get now. Uh, we already got some more of those. I can't remember who it was that I played when I played it. Um. I remember as I had a big hammer that could break stuff. So I was like breaking down walls and shit. Right, um... There's the Pokemon Center. Sledge. Yeah. I put Sledge. I had a bit of fun like... bashing through a couple of walls to get to stuff. try this new drink thing I got sent. I got sent a review packet from a site I signed up to ages ago. And they send you random things every now and then to review on the basis that you have to leave a review for it, but you get to keep what they send you. And I got sent some of that stuff called Wraith. It's like if you've had Sneak or Gamer fuels, to shit like that. It's pretty much similar. That's pretty good. That just tastes like orange Lucasect. But yeah, they are. Uh, usually they just send shit. Like, because it's all small, small startup companies and stuff. So, like, I got sent. Uh, like some double-sided stickers. Can I live city? You're next, so... Can't fly there yet. I'll go to Jubilife. Yeah, they sent me like double-sided stickers for sticking up. Like posters and paintings and... Photo frames and stuff, and they were shit. So I got rid. I left a review basically saying, Yeah, these things are terrible. Like, they sent them to me, but... They're worthless. GWS isn't ready yet. What? Um, ah, I need to go north a bit to get out of town. And like, they sent me... What else did they send me? They sent me some origami paper at one point, actually. And that was pretty decent. But this is like the first gaming related thing they've sent me. Like Wraith energy drink. Fishing hole. <gasps> yes. Can be friends. Here you go. That's my old rod. Nice. Uh, no. Fishing mini games are pretty much all the same. Boop, 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 boop. Right. So we got you here. To meet me here on Route 280, but he's nowhere to be seen. Oh, it looks to be you. Time to surf. What do we surf on? Bibarel. We. <gasps> Water Pokemon. <gasps> and it's a tentacle. Right. Um. Hmm. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, to meet a Scot to meet a tall Scottish man with a hammer, that sounds about right. Right, we'll swap back to Kelly. Because I have not thought anybody false swipe or anything like that. Defense <laughs> harshly fell. Uh Let's use Water Pulse. He's going to be resistant to it, but I just don't want to kill him. Okay, did bugger all to him. Mud Slap it is then. Super effective. Cool. I should have just used a quick ball. I'm an idiot. I have to keep being reminded that quick ball we just used at the start. Oh well. No, not the rap. Mug slap. Get him. Mud slap. Right, um. You're about right now. Let's keep capturing you a go. Boom, 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 boom. Pokeball, Pokeball. Go, 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 go. Give me, give me, give me, give me. We're gonna need a name for this dude as well. <gasps> Tentacool. Yes, we got him. What should we call Tentacle? He's got a name for it. Ideas, anybody? It drifts in sea currents. Countless fishes are hurt by its poison stingers. Let's give Tentacle a nickname. Right, who wants to name it? First person with an idea gets to name it. Cruelio, good. That's a good one. Um, you'll be going to the box for now. I should check my box, actually. Uh, Pokemon boxes. Right. Onyx, Dracula, Sherry... Yeah, I don't yet have a matchup. Yet. Uh, you're the junk box. And then that's where I put the Unon for when I get the rest of them. Jar of Honey. What do you want? Fishing for the win. Hi, Bor. Doing all right, actually. Just beat the ghost gym. On my way to the next one. Gyarados. Oh no. I was supposed to swap Kelly into first again, wasn't I? Oops. Oh well. Hello, everybody. The C01 4052 is now following. <laughs> everybody. Vacuum the Zero Osley is now hosting <gasps> the stream with 26 views. You cock, I'm gonna kill him. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. I don't know my left and right, please. Oh, oh no. no, I'm hitting all the wrong points. This isn't fair. <laughs> oh, please, no, I'm... Oh, no. <laughs> no, 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 please let me redo that. Please let me redo that. Please let me redo that. That's not fine. Poor Connor. Poor Connor got wrecked. <laughs> Welcome in, everybody. Welcome in, Jess. <laughs> Killed everybody. Yeah, my, my playthrough when I did uh, to try
strike did not go well either. Lots of people died. Connor died right at the end of mine. <laughs> Just kill everybody. <gasps> yeah, everybody loves Connor. So how are we doing? Having fun. I missed the the shout out what were you playing? Bum, 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 bum. Hollow Knight. Ooh. Have you played it before or is it your first playthrough of Hollow Knight? I still have not finished Hollow Knight. Still. Killed everyone X. Ooh, P5. Yeah, I still have P5 to do and P4. I will get around to doing them at some point. Trying P5. Trying. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done the Pantheons, Greg? I always forget. Seeing as you do shit tons of speedrunning. Yeah, sorry Pyro, unfortunately the uh, encoding for streams is like whether they can be bothered giving to, to you as an affiliate or not. Usually it lets you bump it down a bit, but not today, apparently. Oof. <laughs> oh yeah! For those of you who haven't seen, we've got the Who's That Pokemon game. You just type in chat if you know what it is. I have no idea what the fuck that is. So... You Where's Beth? Beth, do you know this one? Or Manu? Or Burb? They're usually good with these. <gasps> Manu got it. Oh no, Bart got it. Wow. I bet you Manu said it out loud and Bart just heard her. That's what it was. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Should be Gyarados. and stuff shouldn't matter Pyro. Shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, we're still waiting for upgrades around here. Like, a lot of the stuff around us is still uh, copper wiring. Still needs upgrading to fibre and shit. I have no idea what that one is either. Um, yes, it is Bart. You get to you get to pick which one it is. Oh, it's Pikachu. That's right. We've got that as well. More for uh, where is it? Who's that Pokemon? It's Pikachu. There you go. Um, nah, we'll stay as we are. <laughs> yeah, but the 15k PNG tube thing is exactly what you think it is, and you get to pick which one it is as well. <laughs> uh, 
Why does this guy just keep sending out magic carps and shit? I thought I'd killed them all by now. Oh, we actually had five Pokemon, that's why. I'll get Thunder Shock then. Yeah, sometimes dog shit internet is just dog shit. Like where we used to have live had fiber everywhere, but still the internet would just bottom out sometimes for no reason. Yeah, time for more surfing. Pinsir. <gasps> I was trying to remember the name of that one then. <laughs> Poor Manu. Manu, you're bad at this. Ooh. <gasps> Same as me. Yeah, broadband all over the UK is, like, terrible, because, oh yeah, just swap in something that's, like, strong to you. Yeah, broadband and internet in general over the UK is weird, because they decided to part and parcel it out to different countries, and, or different companies in different areas, so some areas have been upgraded and some haven't. No bear fast, just you. <laughs> just get faster, Manu. Uh, life to you. Life to you, do. Uh, so you yourself an ally Pokemon. Yeah, we'll swap out Bat and Pass for that. Yeah, you're going to be fast to get in faster than these, this lot Pyro. Like, there's a couple in here, we'll get it like that. Who's that Pokemon? Glamio, do I have a Glamio? <laughs> Bart got that one. Maybe Bart set up a delay on Manu's PC, that's what it is. Right, let's try and catch the Lamio. I'm not sure if I actually have one yet or not. Can't even get the command right, man. Who? <gasps> no, 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 you're not allowed to get this one. Um, Glamiao, what nickname should we give Glamiao? It needs a ship name. <laughs> there you go. <gasps> and it's a shiny. Shiny! No worries. Have a good one, Pyro. Yeah, Rowler is Manu's favourite. As seen by her remote. Right, what are we calling Glamio? It needs a name. Um, suggestions? Beth, Steve. I know. There you go, I'll give it a shit name. I 
think we might have already had a Glamio, seeing as it didn't do anything then, but... Did we? No, we already got one. There we go. Right, who's up here? My girlfriend's on the other side. Oh, it's the dude who met his girlfriend at the wrong place. So he's just waiting there, she's waiting on the other side. They're both useless. Man Tyke! What the hell is this? <gasps> it's this one! It's the uh. Thundershock. We'll see how Thundershock does. Yeah, it's fine. We fix. Gyarados. It's all these people with Gyarados. I remember it being forever until I learned that Magikarp had evolved into Gyarados. Like, I missed that episode of the TV series. So when I was playing Pokemon Blue, it took me ages to find it. And I just had a Magikarp in my box for like half the game, unevolved. I did all sorts of dumb stuff during that game. Like, I started, like, I had Pokemon Blue, and I thought because it was Pokemon Blue that I had to pick Squirtle. So I always pick Squirtle for the first one. <gasps> Kelly's evolving! Boom, 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 boom. Astrodon. Add it to Pokedex. Huge shell for protection in ancient times. It lives in shallow tidal pools. Yes, because it's a nudibranch. Nudibranchs are cool. Scientist man, what are you up? Long time no see. You look puzzled. You're wondering who I am. Apparently, Professor Owens' assistant and Dawn's father. Oh, it's this dude. Upgrade your Pokedex. Blah 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 you spike. In fact, did I remember to turn this on? Also happy birthday. I don't think I did. Oops. Not my birthday, Spike. It is Muffo's birthday. Everybody say happy birthday to Muffo. Because it is for his birthday today. Regardless of what he actually tries to tell you. Happy birthday, Muffo. <laughs> Check this, I thought I'd... There we go. 
I forgot I'd done it this way. <laughs> Beth, just ab abusing Spike like that. Nah, I made a dumb command, Spike. I didn't have it turned on because I'm trying to work out a way to make it, like, actually say something in chat as well, but it doesn't seem to want to do it. I find out all sorts of dumb stuff I can do with commands. I could even set it up as a channel points reward if I wanted to. In fact, that's a point actually. So there's a channel point reward for time somebody else out. I wonder if I could set that up so you could put a name in the reward and it does it automatically for you. I bet it's possible. No, Spike Travels, uh, exclamation mark Spike Travels, uh, times you out with, for 10 seconds. And I was trying to set it up to time you out and time Bryn out, and then say, shut the fuck up, Spike and Bryn. Because I was just playing around with the commands and stuff. But yeah, I reckon I could tie it into points rewards easy enough to time out this pers person you name in the point reward. Shouldn't be too hard. <gasps> oh look, somebody else has one. Man is very forgetful here in Canalave City. Even makes Pokemon forget their move. Oh, it's the move learner guy. Close look down. Were you swimming at the beach by Sand Jam Town? Yeah, I've been playing around with a lot of stuff that you can do with chat commands and things like that. And I've got like a, a virtual stream deck, which is how the the Jigglypuff com uh, redemption works and how the Dark Souls You Died one works. So I've just been looking at other fun stuff I can do with it. Turned off at the moment, Spike, because it doesn't work properly. It's also only available to moderators and above when it's turned on. I turn it back on if you want. But it'll just be like Manu timing you out with a command. <laughs> so she just does it herself anyway. There we go. I will turn it back on for you. there. <laughs> I got another one as well, Manu. I've got a, a Greg command as well. Hey, it's the forgetful man. Here we have Pokemon Center. Right, rest Pokemon. I think I need to update it so it recognizes Greg the Boomer as well. It does have a cooldown on it, Spike. 
so it doesn't do it straight away. Yeah, there's only a couple more hidden ones. Yeah. And then there is just like a couple of dumb ones for... Uh... So I've got that one. Which does the emote explosion. There. <laughs> right, what is this lot talking about? Can't use hidden move strength for my poke edge until I beat Dim Leader Byron. I think as a Pokemon sometimes I have different abilities, maybe Altura is two with different abilities. Ooh. Yeah, I've been playing around with commands a lot, so there'll be a lot more added soon, along with some more sound like. Redemptions for points as well. <gasps> it's a pub or an inn. Ooh. Brutus. Oh, look, it's Dave. Challenge the gym leader up there. Check to see if you're already ready for this challenge. My brand new gym badge. Screw you, Dave. Always getting there just before me. With your silly haircut. Staravia! <laughs> Could be like a men's workout club, isn't it, Block? You're just full of muscular fellas flexing everywhere. Uh, Thundershock. Hehehehe. <laughs> I'll try to work out what's triggering it now. Um. Oh, plant. Um. Bite. Critical hit. Yay! Good boy. Zelly is down. Pokemon gain XP. Alright, what's next? Level 40. Earthquake. Yes. <laughs> Let's teach Greg Earthquake. Um, speed stats. Strikes every Pokemon around it. We got Rock Blast. Yeah, we'll get rid of the bulldoze. Have an earthquake in its place. More growth. Lots of growth. Heracross. You're a bug, aren't you? Kelly. Oh, you're the uh, stag beetle. Is it stag beetle or rhino beetle? Rhino beetle. You all dirty bastards. I did fuck all. Um, 
No. Kelly almost got her ass kicked. Mud slap is also not very effective. Um, let's swap. Birds are going to be good against bugs, right? We've got to be. Ba -ba -ba. Yeah, I still have a shit ton of seven TV slots available. If anybody uh, has any suggestions as well, because like, how many slots do you get for seven TV? It's like two hundred slots, and I've not used anywhere near that many. You want Silly Champ, Manu? You want the Silly Champ that Carl's got? Yeah, I've got, I'm using 67 so far out of the full 250, so... Silly Champ, where are you at? They got them. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, if anybody has any suggestions, just say. Because we got shit on the slots to fill. Dave is about to send out Ponyta. Kelly actually good for this. Boom, 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 boom. Yay, super effective. Get her, Kelly. Blah, 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 blah. Almost. And you're confused. And we shall also use this opportunity to heal Kelly up a bit. Because tactical thinking. Bye, Confused. Stomp. How dare you. And you healed a bit. You've got a shell bell as well. Who said you could do that? Bastard. Take another water pulse. Mm, you just shared. Let's see it on stream. Where are we going? Where are we going? Shell bell. Right, what have you got next, Dave? Kelly's level 31. Primple up. You are water? Get flashlight out again. If there's anything other than water now, like I may have messed up, but I do not pretend to know Pokemon types until I actually see it. Look. Oh, it's the penguin one. Bye bye. Super effective. And a crit. This guy's just rolling in crits. And you're paralyzed. <gasps> that handsome bar emote. Such a handsome boy. <laughs> right. 
That's you sorted. Baby grew to level 41. Agility. Um, agility is a psychic move. Just does speed. Nah. If you are not naturally fast enough, then tough. Bye, Dave. Bit better than you. Taking the gym leader here. All right, then. So, yeah, you're all pretty much full. Uh, we need to... Uh, bring Kelly out to walk for a bit. And... Move you up front as well. Right, I forgot here. This is a library. Mm. What's in the library? Hello, can I leave library? Please keep quiet while you're on the premises. Anything good? Just worn box. I want my own library one day. Like, I have a Kindle, and I have hundreds of books on my Kindle, and hundreds more, like, e-books saved on my PC. And I've got a decent amount of actual books, and, like, graphic novels and comics and stuff. But I prefer to read actual books when I can. My Kindle is for, like, when I'm on the bus and things like that. How about you? Books on the third floor are easy to read. Down here are all too tough for me to understand. Bring food or beverages into the library. Most of the libraries I've been to do not give a shit about that. Not unless it's like the really... Um, like fragile books. Regent's Mythology, would you like to read it? Yes. Long ago, when Sinnoh had just been made, a Pokemon and humans led separate lives. That is not to say they did not help each other. No, indeed they did. They supplied each other with goods and supported each other. A Pokemon proposed to the others to always be ready to help humans. It asked that Pokemon be ready to appear before humans always. Thus, to this day, Pokemon appear to us if we venture into the tall grass. Sinnoh Myth, would you like to read it? Yes. Betray not your anger, lest question mark will come. Weep not with sorrow, or question mark will draw near. When joy and enjoyment come as natural as the very air, that is happiness. But such be blessed by the hand of master question mark. It was a custom to speak those words. No idea what that means. There are many books on the myths and legends of Sinnoh. Did someone's memories of various places and times? Libraries aren't just buildings, what books are kept, you know. But where different places and times are gathered together. Sinnoh's myth. The three Pokemon there were. Into the lakes they dove. Deep, deep, drawing no breath. Deep, deeper they dove. In the suffocating depths they dove. Deeper than deepest they alight. From the lake floor they rise. Bearing with them the power to make vast lands, they rise again. Settled Veilstone's myth. See, this all sounds like vaguely Cthulhu like. A young man, callow and foolish in innocence, came to own a sword. With it, he smoked Pokemon, which gave sustenance with carefree abandon. Those not taken as food, he discarded. The following year, no Pokemon appeared. Leaders grew bare. Would you like to keep reading? Yes. The young man, seeking the missing Pokemon, journeyed afar. No worries, Manu. Long did he search, and far and wide, until one he did find. Asked he, why do you hide? To which the Pokemon replied, If you bear your sword to bring harm upon us, with claws and fangs, we will exact a toll. From your kind, we will take our toll, for it must be done done it must be to guard ourselves and for it I apologise I'd like to keep reading the skies the young man shouted his dismay in having found the sword I have lost so much gorged with power I glue bind to Pokemon being alive I will never fall savage again the sword I denounce and forsake 
I plead for forgiveness, for I was but a fool. So saying, the young man hurled the sword to the ground, snapping it. It's been a shit sword if you could just throw it at the floor and break it. Seeing this, the Sokomon disappeared to a place beyond seeing. Yeah, if your sword breaks just because you uh, throw it at the floor, it's not a very well made sword. Chunning Chaos. Right, we'll start skipping through these. It gave rise to the original one. Two beings, the original one made. Time started to spin, space began to expand. Three living ones, the original one made. Two beings wished and from them matter came to be. Three living things wished and from them spirit came to be. Well created, the original one to unyielding sleep. Horrific myth. Oh no, into the Pokemon's eyes, instant you'll have no recollection of who you are. When there is nothing to remember, dare not touch the Pokemon's body. Three vote days, all emotions will drain away. Harm not the Pokemon. Scan seven days, the offender will grow up more violent anxiety. So you no know, folk stories. Right, we'll leave you for later. I will come back and read these. I want to find that Pokemon. Uh, Jim. Away we go. Me, 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 me. Hey, look, it's the Pokemon Jim. Right, what does this guy want? To Iron Island. They not only train their Pokemon there, but work out as well. It's a muscle gym. Good to study at the library. Aren't books just lovely? Ring takes me places as far away in time and space. Nobody in here. What about this one? You are. Sailor Eldritch. Yeah, they're definitely getting Cthulhu vibes if you got a dude called Eldritch living here. Went to be a sailor like my daddy. He's a real man among men, even the seed. Hear him. The limb the gym leader would be cool too. Byron is so awesome. But I have so much, too much energy here. We should be a bit, little bit quieter. <laughs> Weird kid. Instinct tells me there's a secret path somewhere in this city and there's treasure beyond the path. <gasps> secret path. What about you? Do you want to set sail? No. I think there's a secret path down there. Seeing as I can see a Pokeball. Where you get to it. Unless... I actually have no idea how to use this thing, by the way. I assume you just ping it and it sort of like shows up. This way somewhere. There you go, Bart. TM89, you turn. What if it works this way as well? Is there anything up here? Nope, just a bridge. Right, into the gym. Make sure everybody's healed up. Into the gym we go. What puzzle have we got in this one? Or is it just going to be fight people? Or oh, is it the... Is this the arrows or teleporters? No, that's a door. All the way. Hello, champ to be gym leader here. He uses steel type Pokemon. I have no idea what the fuck to use against them. Just hit them hard, he says. Hello. Steel represents an unbending spirit. If you never go up, the path to victory reveals itself. 
I'm guessing electric po type Pokemon won't be very good here. Steelix. Hmm. Um, it's going to be good against Steelix. Fighting and fire. Body slam. <laughs> Ground. Paralyzed him though. Can't move. Um, so Which one of you? You're rock, you're ground. Let's try mud slap, see what mud slap's like. Yep, yeah, mud slap works. Iron tail. Right, ground works. So mud slaps it is. From Kelly anyway. And you missed. And another mud slap. And one more. We'll just keep dropping his accuracy at the same time. Yeah, luckily I've got a couple of decent, like, fighting moves and fire as well, actually. Just Char's got fire and fighting moves. Greg's got a couple of ground moves, so we should be good. Right, what do these do? Elevators, right. You as well. And that's a red elevator. It's much deeper than that. It's just a test of you as a person. Um, worker Gary. What have you got? You've got Onyx. Right, you're... You should be fine with a water pulse then. Okay, Kelly. using payback for. I've not hit you yet. See? Kelly wrecked it. <laughs> right. Uh, now for this elevator puzzle. Um, yellow goes up. You go down, you loot here, I'm guessing. Uh, Ace has knowledge and experience of battling at high levels. I'll demonstrate what that means to a noob like you. How dare you. How dare you. Caesar. Scorpy. You're that weird thing. Um, oh, I fought one of these before, that makes it easy. Ancient power. I'm just gonna throw fossils at you. And then. Warples. Eh. Eh. Stop it, you old shit. So stop it. Four times. And bloop. Got ya. Right. Um so I've got XP. Kelly went up another level. It's an Steelix. More mud slaps. So we've not got many mud slaps left, but may as well use it. 
while Kelly's still alive and kicking. Just heal a little bit. Curse! Who the fuck thought you curse? Oh, I'm not complaining, you're gonna half your health. Or not. Just dump that accuracy. I do like moves like that. Like, I'm not one for actually using status effects and stuff, but if it's mixed into an attack, I'll try and combo them together. More mud slaps. Bloop. So speed fell again. Attack rose again. This is. I can't remember how many badges are on a roll. I will tell you in a second when this is dead. Oh, water works against us. Never mind. It's fainted. Cybro went up another level. Yay. Caesar's been defeated. Which single lullaby? Where's me badges? Me badges. No. Badges. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, this is gym number six. Just scuffed my badges up. Right, so you go up here. You're going to go across then, I'm guessing. And we've got that there. Nothing this way. This is the isolated route, so this seems to be the way forwards. Right, uh, up or right, let's go up. Up here we have yet another fight, so I'm guessing this is generally the right direction. Show you an example of that history. It looks like I'm trying to get to the red one then. So I've not seen any other red ones. Gerardo! He used to be a cleaner at work called Gerard, he was well nice. Always stop to say hello to everybody and everything. It's me and him used to, uh... Yeah, I know for our bot. I've only been playing this on stream, and I don't have it in handheld mode on stream. When I've had it in handheld mode, I've been playing Pokemon... Uh, playing... Well, not Pokemon, Monster Hunter Rise. I will clean them later. I have made a note of it. I'm actually enjoying it. Like, I played a ton of um, Monster Hunter World. I have fought everything but the very last monster of Monster Hunter World. Um, I've tried the last monster a couple of times, but I need some slightly better gear to actually be able to do it. And then I will have fought everything in Monster Hunter World. And Rise is good. It, it, it's Back to how the old Monster Hunters were, which is a lot more based around handheld. Like, it's designed that way. It's designed for meeting up with people online, but they've kept some of the cool stuff from World. And the new line bug is great fun being able to just, like, do plunge attacks wherever you like. Right, um. So you're down. It's over here. Another fighty man. But yeah, I've, um, I've only played it for about an hour so far. And I did spend a chunk of that just making my character and my my little palico. And my new dog friend as well. Dog friend is cool as well. Like, it's basically just a free mount everywhere. 
Yeah, if you get Iceborne Bar, there is um, basically gear to boost you up into Iceborne content that you get with it. And you can basically just smash your way through the uh, low rank monsters and high rank monsters to get to Iceborne stuff. Um, and it basically means you can unlock all of the weapons and armor sets you get by getting materials from them really quickly. You can just smash through all the missions. So all it means is that there is a bit of a difficulty bump when you actually get to the Iceborne content because that gear is slightly lower than it would be if you'd have fought the high rank monsters and stuff to get your own custom gear set. But they do add like the the clutch claw and stuff in Iceborne, which is so useful. Like the amount of times I've managed to like waste a monster using the clutch claw, because I can you can bounce it off a wall, knock it out while it's on the floor, get a few good hits in. If you're quick, you can bounce it off the wall a second time when it gets up. If not, you can always hit it with a status effect like sleep or something while it's on the floor. And then when it stands up, it goes to sleep and you can get like another free clutch claw. Muddy water. Uh, yeah, let's see what it does first. Muddy water. Use protect between muddy water. Bone. Or lowers our accuracy. May also confuse. Um, no, I think we'll stay as we are. Yeah, you can get like um, the clutch car's got some really useful stuff on it. Like it lets you get more slinger ammo by hitting the monster. Like you just basically latch onto it and hit it, and it produces slinger ammo. Um, got another one. Yeah, I think I'm going the right way as soon as this is leading around and around. Brianna, what have you got? Azumarill! <gasps> it's this one, it's the bunny. Um, I've not fought one of these before, so let's we'll go with Ancient Power. There we go, that's another one hard to 70 using as we're not got it. Smoge. Add. There we go. Um, right. Uh, ancient power did not do too good. Water pulse will do fuck all because you're water type as well. Let's go for a body slam. Ah, uh, body slam did all right. We will use that then. gonna splat you. Right, I might heal this time actually. Uh, let's use a super. There we go. Bulldogs. How dare you. And you drop my speed. Oh well. More body slams. Oh! How dare you! Right, uh, water type. We'll get flashlight out. Zoomer, water type. I'm just assuming that because it's blue. It might not be. Yep. 
Yeah, it is. Flashlight grew to level 43. Greg grew to level 41. Yeah, Greg. I need to find somebody to trade Greg with me at some point so I can make him into Golem. Right, uh, where is that revive gone? Moves on Kelly. And then. Super. There we go. Good enough. Right, so this is going to go down. And I'm assuming the red one is the one that we need. There we go. Um, yeah, we're good to go. Let's get him. Hello, Mr. Digger Man. That's Arborist Jim Badge. I see, I see. You've defeated my it's your son. That's no surprise, he still has much to learn. In place of my son Rourke, I, Byron, will accept your challenge. Gym leader time. Oh, he's got a shovel. I thought he had a walking stick for a second, but it's not, it's a shovel. Bronzor. Right, uh, have we got anything good to go against Bronzor? Uh, Mud Slap is super effective, but we don't have any uses of it. Water Pulse is just effective, let's try. Ah, we got the Confusion off as well, that's alright. <gasps> Hi Alex, hi back. Come on, hit yourself. Trick Room. I don't know what this does. We shall see. I'm currently in gym number six. Let's see, what does he do? I think I'm more effective. Does it like change types or something? Sandstorm? No. Sandstorm kicked up. Water poles. Get him, Kelly. Yeah, we have evolved Kelly. She is now a slightly better Pokemon. Full restore. You bat. Did not have more of those. I'm just gonna have to like spam water pulses at him. Nothing else is any good. That I have uses of anyway. Well, he's confused. Use water balls. Good. Critical hit. Sweet. Twisted dimensions. Blah, 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 blah. Twisted dimensions return to normal. Yeah, I've been saying, Alex. I have a shit ton of 7 TV emote slots available. So if anybody has suggestions, just post them in chat and I will add them. Because there's like 250 slots and I'm not even using 100 yet. Stop using that full restore, you better have like only a couple of those. I think I have you down as an editor on that, so you can just add shit yourself, but I'm not sure. Boom, boom. Add editor. Right. Uh, arrows. Add editor. Um. What's this one, Bart? <laughs> yeah, you can have the scuffed smoke as well. Smoke as well. Um. Big Alex, I have added you as an editor, so you can just like add whatever you want. I tried to add Bart, but it doesn't like his username. Unless it's still your old Twitch name, 
and I can't remember exactly how that was, so... Ah, that might be it then. Bum, 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 bum. But yeah, go wild, add whatever you want. Yeah, I've noticed as well with 7TV, they do have like quite a good quality vetting system. So if there's like duplicates of an emote, they'll remove the lower quality ones in favour of the higher quality ones. Shit like that. It pops up with notifications about it every now and then. Especially if it's an emote like you've got on yours. So they'll say, oh yeah, a duplicate's been uploaded, we've got rid of it in favour of this one. Steelix, keep currents. Oh, no, we should have swapped. Um, go for, let's get Char out. Char has some fighting moves and fire moves. Push. Ow. Super effective. How dare you. Um, yeah, they're all super effective, but am I faster? Bugger it. I am faster. Oh, I bet it had like tough, yeah, sturdy bastard. Couldn't drop it in one. Bye, Char. You're going to be dead unless he misses. Oops. Right, who's next? We'll get Greg out. Greg it. Boosh. Um, I can use pretty much anything at this point. Was that Spike? This Pokemon was in the very first episode of Pokemon. If I have the right one. It's Pikachu! Yeah. Although it wasn't like red and white and orange. It was like golden in the first episode if I remember right. I have no idea what Bastiodon is so... We'll just go for it. Ugh. Ugly fucker. Yeah, it's the legendary Ash sees. Like, he holds up his uh, Pokedex and it just goes, I don't know what the fuck this is. Also, like, the golden one is a shiny variant. So not only did he see a legendary Pokemon, he saw a shiny legendary Pokemon. Oof. Get him, Greg. Greg is awaiting directions. We will... Okay, we'll go for another earthquake. Got you. Good work, Greg. You've had a good day. Bye bye, Byron. Sturdy Pokemon defeated. Got four grand. Now give me your stuff. Prize team of Pokemon in recognition of that power. I give you this the mine badge. Oh, <gasps> Spike. If you did not know, the uh, small town near Anglesey in Wales 
towards the north co- coast is called Chlamlaia Po Chwing Gikko Geru Chwing Robo Chlam Tasilio Gogogoch. I have no idea what that one is. The shape of it looks familiar, but... It means all Pokemon up to level 10 will obey you without question. I think you're spelling it wrong. Go, go, go. <laughs> right, um... Is this going to be a shortcut out then? Looks like it. It is sweet to the poker center. Who's that Pokemon? <sighs> hey, it's Dave. Hi, Dave. That's the mind badge. Good going. Tough not to take a shot at becoming the Pokemon champion. Of course, I'm tough first. So that's not actually going to happen. Come with me to the library. Okay. That one looks familiar. I'm sure I've seen it before. I just don't know what it's called. Yeah, Dave is in fact a Pokemon. Over here, this way. Are you taking me to the books that I read? Oh, no. It is... <gasps> Esper. Bye, Dave. Right, what do you want, Rowan? I've gone already, but I study the evolution of Pokemon. The more I study, the more mysteries appear and multiply. There are some Pokemon that evolve, and others that don't. Makes them different from each other. The immature ones evolve into ones that are more mature. So what do we make of the legendary Pokemon that don't evolve? Legendary Pokemon are, are as complete creatures. I only know this one because of Sword and Shield. Because I'm crap at making curry. And later on though, it may shed some light on how the process of Pokemon evolution works. With help from one of you in standing in a grand undertaking, we find these mysterious Pokemon. It bolted from the lab for a chance to give them one. Seeing Pokemon with your own eyes is important for you to becoming a better trainer too. Care on me, it will help my Pokedex too. Two, won't you? Mid all of you go regardless. Now then, there are three lakes. Three of you. you should split up and investigate the lakes individually. Go to Verity. Acuity. Need a tough trainer to go. Alright. And that leaves trouble with Lake Valor. Veilstone and Pastoria, if memory serves. Oh no, off they done. All of you unharmed, let's go outside, be careful and confirm direct that they're, they're concerned about the city. <laughs> yes, Spike. Rotom is a it's a weird ghost that likes to haunt machines. I mean, that wasn't a natural occurrence. Hey, hey, old dude and kid, something big just happened. Saying there was a huge explosion at Lake Valor. Kaboom! Just like that. <laughs> a fun part. Hmm, that Dave can't sit still. More worried about Lake Valor. However, I have no idea what is taking place. You must find out. Boy, you go, I can't stress this enough. Don't get in over your head. We'll try to join you as soon as we inspect Lake Verity. You okay, won't you trouble? Right, uh, two Pokemon Center. Uh, we don't yet. Yet.
I've just been adding random shit as I think of it. Right, Pokemon back to full health. Hope to see you again. Right. So, I am going to save there because this feels like a good stopping point for picking up next time. So, I'm going to bugger off and get food, but we'll find somebody to raid in the meantime, shall we? So, let's have a look, see who's online, see if there's anybody we can go and find. <sighs> what food, though? Um, my dad has been doing some baking, so I'm going to go and see what he's made. Probably pies and stuff. Um, who is around? I know. We'll go and surprise her. Most of you will probably already know this person. Boom. So, I will see you all next time. I will be back on Thursday with some Dark Souls. But, until then, have fun, be nice, and thanks for the raid, thanks for the subs, thanks for the follows, and I will see you all next time. Bye bye everybody!